I'm Jonathan J. Reinhardt. I am the host of the Wargaming Recon Podcast. If you're watching this, chances are you are one of the many people who listen to the show. It comes out twice a month on Mondays. So this is a little different. First of all, the audio quality is probably not as good as usual because I'm not actually using any of my microphones. And second, we're not in the studio today. So today we're doing something a little differently. I'm doing my very first unboxing video and I'm doing it for something that's not gaming, right? So as many of you may know, I am about to become a dad for the very first time. I'm very, very excited for it. And one of the things that I think is very important for everyone, but especially I think is important to make the time for oneself, no matter how busy you are in work, your family, whatever's going on, you need to do it, right? And I think it's going to become especially important for me as a dad that I, of course, adopt and take on and take full ownership of the role of being a father, but also I need to maintain my own identity and my own space so that I can stay true to who I am and so that I can keep on coming back to what's important. And one of the ways I'm doing that is I am slowly outfitting Wargaming Recon Central, the gaming space that I have here at my home with my wife. Some of you have come to game days and it's a place that I use to kind of work with some of the great historical gamers in the area to test scenarios and all that sort of stuff before we bring it to either gaming stores or to conventions to run. So I also use this space for the Extra Light 24 Hour Gameathon, but this time I'm doing something different. I am actually updating the space. I have a 25 gallon freshwater aquarium. You wouldn't know that unless you had come and been here, so most of you are not aware of that. And today, I'm doing an unboxing video for some live plants for that. In the summer, I got into some aquatic gardening or aquascaping, as it said in the um, aquarium hobby. So I purchased some plants from the great people over at PeabodysParadise.com. A lot of of knowledgeable information from them, very friendly, very helpful, really affordable prices. So it came today. We got right here, and uh, <laughs> we're giving Recon Central right here. And this came to my work actually because the owner of Peabody's Paradise said that this sort of stuff shouldn't stay outside. And uh, I'm recording this in the winter of 2015. It gets really cold here in Massachusetts. And the plants could freeze, they could die, right? Nobody wants that. So either the option was to have them held at the local post office, which would mean going all the way there, waiting in lines, and that's not happening. Mm -hmm. Have them come to my house and you know sit outside where they may or may not make it. Didn't really like that. Or I'm lucky enough I can have stuff sent to me at my place of employment, which happened, got them, and brought them home. So I am unboxing them here for all of you. And then they'll end up going in the aquarium back here. You can kind of get a glimpse of show you a little closer look so of it and I can tell you that this is a really light box right it came priority meal I didn't order a ton of stuff I ordered a couple bunches of plants a uh, green kabamba and oh heck I can't remember the name of the other thing that I ordered and then I ordered some carpeting plants about 10 of those of the species so we're just gonna slice it open now I'm gonna lower this just a little so you can see. Here we go. It's nicely packaged. Just the right amount of tape, not too much, but not too little either. Just slice through with my handy dandy box cutter. And we open. Okay. Now tilt for you show that there's some styrofoam here with, let's see, is this packing slip? Let me take a quick peek. I know it makes for riveting information. So first we got the packing slip, which, and then we have something really cool. It is a plant dip. So most of you who are watching this are into gaming, I would presume, or gaming, and you're probably not into aquarium. I got into uh, the aquatic hobby that when you get stuff like plants, they usually have unwanted pests who come on my tank so I'm not really worried about some of these other snails planted some of these other snails could eat the plants but it's okay it's not going to be an issue but this is nice because they have added what's called potassium permanganate uh, 
we know why I didn't go into the sciences, right? And it's a little solution here, you add, and it says how to make it. And all I gotta do is I, I dip the plants into it, and that should take care of any unwanted pests that come along. So let's move on, and we're gonna tilt you guys back down a little. So we got, well, let's see, got some newspaper, and empty. And then that's really nicely packaged, though, with the styrofoam, keeps everything. The newspaper has the plants in it. So you can see, oh, it's Wall Street Journal. Let's look. So, and of course, I don't know what my plants are, but we have this nice specimen. And you're thinking, he doesn't know what his plants are. How can he do such a hobby? Well, I got a lot of resources so I can look up things. This looks beautiful, nice and green. It's a little cold, but it'll be okay. Uh, and one of the other plants, and it just, the end, a little cold, but that's to be expected because of the weather, but it's nicely packaged, it's sealed, and look at that, and something's written on it, I can't tell, mid-ground maybe? For anyone who, uh, I think this is mid-ground, but you can see the plant, nice. And another one, here, oh, just nice roots on this. You can see all the nice roots. And I think this is the chain sword. And then, oh, here's a kabamba. Oh, that's what was written on it. Oh, uh, here. And so this is actually, oh, bring you a little closer though. You see, that's a piece of metal that's holding it together. And there's actually several stems worth of this here. Uh, so the pricing was great. The customer service is fantastic. I'm gonna have to step away now to get these dipped and get them into the tank so that way they can stay nice and warm and um, I don't want them to freeze or anything, but everything looks really good, so I'm excited. And then I'm just gonna give you a quick peek at the aquarium, should give you a word of warning. I'm doing this kind of impromptu, it's like, hey, I'll do an unboxing video, right? So I didn't take the time to do any sort of cleaning of the aquarium just yet. But here goes, everybody. So we take a little handy dandy trip. And this is my 25 gallon. It's fresh water. An Amazon inspired biotope. And that sound you just heard, unfortunately, the sound of the heater kicking on. So you can see all sorts of stuff. That guy in front you happen to see is known uh, colloquially as a cockatoo cichlid. He's from South America, Peru, I believe. And the little guy right here, an adorable Corydora. And then all the way in the back, you might not be able to see so well, is a school of Cardinal Tetras. They're one of my favorite plant species. So we turn you around in some really poor cameraman work, which is why you usually get me talking into a microphone and not doing any sort of video for you. But I just thought this might be a little fun and I'm washing out. Sorry about that people. So thank you for watching this unboxing video. Thank you so much to everyone at Peabody's Paradise. It's fantastic. I can tell you I'm going to do more business with you in the future. And if you haven't done any of this sort of stuff, if you're interested in getting into having an aquarium, whether it's fresh water, salt water, if you want to keep coral, you want to do live plants, you should really check out this fantastic website and internet message board. It's called fishlore.com, F-I-S-H-L-O-R-E.com. A lot of really knowledgeable and helpful people there. They're very friendly, non-judgmental. It's how I was able to get back into things. Then if you want plants, check out peepitiesparadise.com. Fantastic. I can't recommend them enough. Then I'll have to see how they do in the tank behind me, you know, ooh, right there. And um, check that out. And then, of course, new episodes of Wargaming Recon come out twice a month, wargamingrecon.com, where I talk about uh, historical and New England gaming, focusing really on tabletop kind of gaming, minis, and that sort. But I do talk about computer gaming, electronic gaming a little bit and have guests from time to time. So I'm excited to tell you that 
I have a couple guests lined up for the beginning of 2015 here, the new podcast season, and we'll have more moving forward. So you can find out more information about that on wargamingrecon.com, also on Facebook, and if I can figure out how to do one of those YouTube things, I want to get the box away. Facebook will be up here in the left, although right when you look at it, Twitter will be over here. So we're on Twitter and Facebook, and you can connect with Wargaming Recon that way. So thank you again, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. I really apologize for the poor video cameraman work. This is my first time doing it using the webcam in my iMac, um, my MacBook Pro, sorry, not my iMac. Use my iMac for the podcast, but use my MacBook Pro for uh, the video and the webcam and its internal mic. So we'll see how I can spruce that up for all of you. So thank you again. And until next time, no matter what's going on in your life, no matter how busy you are, what's going on at work, no matter how little time you have for just the fun things in life, I hope that no matter what, you have to, you gotta, you need to keep on gaming.